Fair to say that there isn't much apparent movement in the US position or in the Iranian position. Do you accept that 2022 could be an extremely dangerous year in the Middle East because the Americans are convinced you are now, in the words of Antony Blinken, the Secretary of State, a very, very short time away from Iran getting enough fissile material for a nuclear weapon. And we know the Israelis are watching this very closely and their Prime Minister, Naftali Bennett, has reserved the right quite explicitly to not be bound by anything that comes out of the talks in Vienna. He says, we are not and will not be a party to any agreement. So there could be this long dreaded conflict in 2022 over your nuclear program, couldn't there? Well, we know about Western conflicts and how they destroy country after country. But Iran is not Iraq. Iran is not even Vietnam. Iran and its allies in this region are far more powerful than anything the Americans have confronted before. The Israeli regime is too puny and small to do anything significant to Iran. And if it attacks Iran, the retaliation will be something disproportionate and crushing. So I don't think the Israelis would be that foolish. But the Americans know quite well that if they attack Iran, all those bases in, these, in the region and all those countries that are hosting those bases will pay a heavy price and it will bring about the destruction of the global economy. So there is a balance of terror here. And the Iranians don't believe that the United States will be foolish enough to engage in war. See, so the smart thing is for the Americans to negotiate. The smart thing is for the Iranians have already compromised. The JCPOA was the compromise.